Think I'll stop playing hard as a matter of fact I will never ever pretend that I'm more than that It is hard that I know but I'm scared as hell Can you please just comfort me you No, know so well This is tough but I know Hey what's up guys welcome to Trending Reviews So I've got another retro speaker here from Divroom This is the uh, Divroom Timebox Evo It's the big brother to the Timebox Mini so I'm going to go ahead, give you an unboxing, a little overview of the features and hopefully give you an idea of actually how this tiny little speaker sounds with uh, some really good audio. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this out of the box. Now this is very compact. It uh, fits into the palm of your hands. You can see here, it's a really small retro speaker. So, tiny little square block. It has uh, 256 colors only, so 16 by 16 bits, making it very retro. And there you have a little square block, comes in uh, black. So in the box you have the uh, user guide and then you also have the uh, USB data charging cable as well for the device. So that's everything in the box. Let's go ahead and turn this on. So let's have a look at the device itself. You can see that the power button is there on the left hand side. You just have to hold it down to turn it on. So I'll do that now. It's got that classic Divroom startup noise and you can see that it goes straight into Bluetooth pairing mode. So I'll pair this with my phone and my laptop as well to give you an idea of actually how it sounds. So along the top, you have the button to cycle through the various different animations. You have the plus and minus buttons for the volume. In the middle, you have the uh, alarm button and then on the left, you have the uh, play button. On the back, you have a speaker grill. It has six watts of power in there. It has a bass port as well to give you that punch in all the music. And you also have the uh, port for the uh, USB charging cable. So that is it. This is how it looks. It's uh, very retro looking. Now I'm going to pair this and give you guys a little audio overview. Okay, so I've got this connected now to my laptop. Now I'm gonna be playing a song and seeing how the uh, audio is coming out. So this is compared to the uh, TV Max that I have up there on the shelf behind me that has 40 watts of power in there. The previous video review on that is uh, linked in the description below. But nonetheless, this is six watt powers. It's much more tiny. You can see it's just small, fits in the palm of your hands. Now I'm going to play a song and the microphone is just here. So the distance between the speaker and the mic is about just that much. So hopefully you guys get an overview of actually how it sounds. I've got something on my mind. I bet you know what I'm thinking about. You know I can't stop loving you. Every time when you're looking at me, it feels like my heart is keeping on beat. Yeah. Volume up. You know I can't live without you. You make me crazy in a good way. So come on, baby. Now that is very loud. I think that's almost as loud as the uh, TV Max I have up there as well. So this really livens up the entire room. I really need to turn the volume down listening at the full max because that's actually how powerful this thing is. So I'm really impressed. The audio just comes out awesome in these Bluetooth speakers. Now Divim have done a really good job with their entire range of uh, uh, pixel art speakers here. Now, audio for me, I can't fault it. I have to give it hands down for this size as well, 10 out of 10. Now I'm gonna be giving you an overview of actually linking this with your phone and using the Divim app as well to create some pixel art animations. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right guys, so I've connected this via Bluetooth to my phone. So I'm going to launch the uh, Divim Smart app. The link will be in the description below. So I've done this a few times with the other different products that I received. So I'll just quickly recap and show you again. So you have some various options here on the first discover menu. So design, this is pretty cool. You can actually start creating your own pixelated art and have that display on there. So if I just select maybe some colors, I can say hi and it will start displaying right there on the screen. So you can pretty much go and create anything you want and it does it in real time. And it's one of my favorite features about this. It's just really cool. When people come over to your house and they want to see this, then um, you can actually show them various different things and get everyone to start creating their own uh, pixel art and have it displayed on there. 
So that's the discover option. You also have different types of animations that you can create as well. So uh, let's go ahead and do some of this. I'm just creating random pixel art at the moment. So you can cycle between the different animations here. I have no idea what I'm doing, but let's go ahead and do that. So as soon as you hit play, it basically cycles between the different pixel arts that you've just created on the animation screen as well. So that's pretty cool if you'd like to do that. You also have a text editor, which basically sends a message across the screen. So I've got this written here called What's Up YouTube. And then you can also change the background colors on this as well. And there's various different options here. So sleep is obviously a really cool one. There's various different types of ambient noises that you can have if you're having trouble sleeping and have this play in the background. So for example, if I choose bird, You'll play bird noises, relaxation music, city rain. If you live in uh, London like myself, you're used to this and it maybe it helps you fall asleep even quicker. Loads of options to play with. You can also set an alarm. So just like your phone, you can set different alarms for different days, times and that kind of stuff and it will wake you up. There's also an alarm button here on the top in case you want to use that to get straight into it. Now looking at the channel at the bottom here, there's uh, different designs you can have here cycling through and um, you can just set them up to display that. Along the top you have some uh, tabs, so you have different types of uh, clock options as well. Now with the uh, clock, if you hold down the uh, button here on the right hand side of the top of the uh, time box, that will give you different clock options. So it will give you different ways to display the time. If you just hold it down for about three seconds, you can see it cycles through various ones. So you can do that. Lighting, obviously you can create your own lighting effects. So if you just want to have it as solid, then um, you can just select one of these and then have that display. Maybe have different designs here as well. Now the cloud channel tab there right at the top, basically allows you to cycle through and shuffle through various different animations that people have created in the past. Here's an example. So if I hit that button, you can see that there's some random animations appearing. Maybe there's one that you like and you can just leave it on that as well. Now along the bottom there, the tab in the middle, if you select that, this is where the entire gallery of pixel art is available for. So you can cycle through all the popular ones, top ones, specific characters, various holiday seasonal pixel art animations, so many different things. So here are the uh, top ones. You can see here, maybe I'll just show you this one. It says, hello. You can uh, scroll down and see so many different cool ones that people have created in the past. So just cycle through, have fun with it. And uh, there's so many different options. So you can create an account and set up your own animations to share with the rest of the uh, marketplace of these pixel art galleries as well. Then you also have the music tab where you can actually play the radio, your own local music on your phone and various different playlists that you have as well. And if you don't want to use this, you can actually use Spotify. You connect this via Bluetooth on your phone settings rather than the app specifically, and just play anything you want from your phone directly onto there as well. And then you have the settings tab to obviously change any settings around the screen and the display itself. So that pretty much covers everything on the uh, Timebox Evo here. I think overall, they've got some really cool products on their websites. I'll leave a link in the description where you can have a look at all the different ranges of their Bluetooth speakers from the smallest ones to the largest ones and uh, this is a really cool item to have around the house and you know really surprise people with so for me the colors on here look amazing you can't see it in the actual camera screen right now but in real life they actually stand out so much better than uh, what you can actually see on screen so that's about it guys hopefully that was useful for you if you have any other questions about this speaker or any of the other different speakers then do drop a comment below i'll be putting all of the pictures of this on my instagram at trending reviews so do take a look at that otherwise i hope you like the video i hope you subscribe and i will catch you guys at the next one take care